All right, welcome to a smoke break, everybody. Today we've got Diamond Kings for 2021. This was one of my favorite sets. It's one of the lower end sets, well, mid mid uh, mid level sets, I guess you could say, um, that came out in 2021. But this to me is a really underrated set. I really like the design of it. I like the way it fills in your hand, and to me, that's kind of like the most important thing. It doesn't have to be the super high end, glossy, shiny stuff that really catches your attention. And this is something that caught my attention this year. And uh, that's the uh, 2021 Diamond Kings. So I'm going to crack this open. This is just for fun. This is just for me. I was itching to get something opened up. So this is what we're going to go with today. So welcome to our smoke break. If you guys want to get on our smoke break, smoke breaks in the future, make sure to check us out on Instagram. Make sure to check out our eBay. We've got lots of cards up there. We've got breaks going on. So check that stuff out. That's how you get in on our breaks. Um, we're really trying to move over towards Instagram more because eBay just kills us on fees. So we try to make things affordable. And uh, when we do that, eBay just takes too much away from us. When you're breaking open cases and making hundreds and hundreds of dollars it's you know it's easy for people who are like the big dogs in the breaking game but for people like us we're trying to make it affordable and uh yeah that's how you can find us over on instagram for the most part these days um, but do check out ebay and check out our youtube and check out all the good stuff so you can see what we've got going on so let's take a hit uh the bigger hits that i take the bigger hits we can hopefully pull out of this box in this box we're looking for um Right there, two autographs or memorabilia cards. We've also got uh, the really cool ultra rare cards that I have yet to see. Um, and we also have the hobby exclusive gray frames and plum, fr uh, plum frame parallels. Those L's and R's get me every time. It's like I got a speech impediment. Maybe I do a little bit. All right, so let's take a hit real quick. Help us get some luck going into this break. And then let's crack this open and have some fun. All right, that's a nice big hit. So let's hope that hit helps us pull out some good stuff out of this box. And my lighter is gone. All right, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Like I said, I really like this set, so I have no problem opening a whole bunch of this. And I have opened quite a bit of it. I've still got quite a bit left over because the cases are pretty big in this. But even the way this box opens up, I like. I like the way that the cards are right there in the middle kind of protected by these two kind of uh, buffers there get our box out of the way and let's not waste any time we already smoked so let's get right to it maybe i should shuffle the packs but maybe after this one knowing my luck i'll just probably hit the hit the auto in the first pack too all right i like it when we wait a little while i hope we get our auto not quite in the beginning so there we go marcel ozuna Again, I love the way these look. Oh, and it, we do have an upside down card and it looks fat. So maybe we have an auto relic. We'll see. Let's uh, move these other cards out of the way here. And we've got a DJ LeMayhew aficionado. There's our insert for our pack. DJ LeMayhew. I hit a DJ LeMayhew autograph mini card out of Topps Rip. So that's really cool seeing that off the very first card. So... I'll go ahead and put that link right up there so you can watch me pull that. That was a lot of fun to pull those rip cards open. All right, Grover Alexander there. Next up, Stan the Man Musial. Musial. There's that Marcelo Zuna that was on the top. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. Bryce Harper, MVP. We've got Isaac Paredes. And we've got our relic card. Let's see who this is. I'm just going to flip it right over. And it is a auto relic of Daz Cameron. Not bad at all. Check that out. 48 of 99 Daz Cameron dual color relic auto. Oh, man, that is nice. That's what I wanted to see is something like this. That is awesome. Let me get one of my fat sleeves to put it in. Because these are too big for our normal sleeves. But I would be remiss if I did not take this and put it right into a sleeve. Nice looking card. Nice relics. We got gray and white. And the auto. The sticker auto. 
48 of 99. Bam! First pack. What did I say? I hate when that happens, but man, do I love pulling cards like that. That is a cool looking card. Very happy already. Let's see what else we can get. I think we're going to probably get another autograph in here. So let's, I said let's shuffle them up. So let's shuffle them up a little bit, huh? I'm not going to do like the full poker kind of mixing up, but we'll do our best here. There we go. Oh man, that was awesome. I could feel it too. I could feel that fatness in there. And I knew that we were going to have a relic coming out of there. Either that or it was going to be one of those fake spacers that they put in there to mess with us. All right, Vlad Jr. there. Nice Vlad Jr. Looks like we may have one of our parallels here. Luis Gonzalez. Tatis Jr. These are nice packs, nice base cards. And we do have one of our gray parallel, uh, gray border, what is it? Gray frames, gray, gray framed parallels coming up. Andres Jimenez, our gray frame parallel. Is it going to be Daz Cameron also? It is Ty Cobb. That's nice. I love these old player cards. I'm not huge on players from like the 50s, 60s, 70s, even though that was like a very major part, especially in baseball cards. But, um, you know, it's just I, I wasn't around for that. But I do like these really old pictures, the super old ones of the, the big name players like Ty Cobb, um, Honus Wagner, stuff like that. There's an Elegance Beau Bichette. Very cool looking card there. Nice insert. Tris Speaker, there's an old player that I know nothing about. And we've got a debut Diamond King, Sixto Sanchez. Next, oh my goodness, this one feels kind of fat too. Let's keep that one for the end. We might just have another another relic. We might just have a, another auto relic. Who knows? Maybe we've got a hot box and we're going to have all kinds of autographs in here. Tariq Skubal on the back. Charlie Keller, Tariq Skubal, who I've pulled multiple autographs of in Diamond Kings. Charlie Keller, Joe DiMaggio, Nate Pearson, Lou Brock, Mike Trout. Always fun to see the big fish. And look at that. It is not even a card. It's just a spacer. So they fooled me once, fooled me again. You got to make sure there's not like a... Not like a redemption on there or something. Francisco Lendor, Gallery of Stars. Casey Mize, debut Diamond Kings. I wish these background colors were parallels, but they're not. And his teammate, Tariq Skubal, another rookie card. So two nice rookie pitchers for Detroit on there. Very cool. Next up. Again, it feels kind of fat, so they're going to really mess with us on the spacers in this. But I'm glad they do that so people aren't going up there and weighing packs and taking the things that they think are good. Harmon Killebrew, Alex Bregman, Garrett Crochet. Got another upside down card here. It's Walker Bueller. It's going to be underneath of. So let's get our other cards up to the front. Alex Bregman, aficionado. Joey Bart, debut Diamond King. There's that Acuna Jr. that was on the back. There's our Walker Bueller. Flip him back over. And our second relic card, our second hit, is going to be another, another one that has two colors on it. And it's Roberto Alomar. Check that out. Another nice veteran card. Two colors on there. We got gray and blue. Roberto Alomar for Cleveland. I was hoping for another autograph. But hey, that Daz Cameron is really nice. So no number on that one, unfortunately. I'll get a sleeve on that one in a second. But it's not autographed, so we can kind of hold off on it for now. But there we go. Two dual relics. Nice. Nice. Let's see what else we can get. Toss with the right hand. Jose Garcia, rookie. Buster Posey, now retired. Clark Schmidt, Ted Williams, DJ LeMahieu. Artist Palette, Joey Bart. This is a really cool um, little, little insert set, the Artist Palette. 
I really like this this gold on the side. It looks really cool, like gold flake. Nice Joey Bart. Jonathan Stever. And our last one is Tucker Davidson in that pack. Let's keep on trucking. Oh, man. That hit that I took, it came out too fast. We got both our, our auto relic and our regular relic. Already pulled. Ryan Jeffers. Mickey Mantle. Wilson Contreras. Seems like we may have a framed card in here. May not. Christian Yelich. Legacy Lithographs out of 99. That's Joe Wood. I'm going to think that's blue. But that's number four out of 99. It does look blue right there up on that crown. Looks kind of blue. Our writing down here, it's sort of rainbow, but might just be the way that the light is playing off of it. I believe that is a blue. Joe Wood Legacy Lithographs, four out of 99. Love these cards. Don't know anything about Joe Wood. I don't need to know anything about Joe Wood to like the cards. Looks great. There's a Harmon Killig Brew, the club insert, Jose Abreu, and Alejandro Kirk. Let's move these uh, over here. We don't need this insert taking up space. What we need taking up space is our cards. So let's move these over just a little bit. I like that Ty Cobb. Daz Cameron is awesome. And the Roberto Alomar. I love pulling those those cards from the late 80s, mid to late 80s, early to mid 90s. That's when I was a, a kid and so hyped up on baseball, I loved it. Ryan Sandberg. Sixto Sanchez. Honus Wagner is another really old card. I like that. Shirt and Apostle, not an old card, an old player. Joe Morgan. We got the club, Nolan Ryan. That's a nice looking card. Nolan Ryan, man. I live in California, not far. I, I live right in between Dodger Stadium and Angel Stadium, the big A. And uh, yeah, I, I grew up knowing that Nolan Ryan was right down the street and uh, well, down the freeway. And, uh, you know, him throwing 100 miles an hour back then was just amazing. So Nolan Ryan, love that. Braylon Marquez, debut Diamond King, and Tom Seaver. Another nice name to hear. Tom Seaver. Ryan Weathers on the back of that one. Jesus Sanchez. Pete Rose. Shane McClanahan. Ty Cobb to match our gray. Oh, there's our plum. Matches our gray frame parallel. There's another Ty Cobb, The Art of Hitting, to go ahead and keep matching up with all the Ty Cobbs we're getting today. No complaints from me. Davey Garcia, Ryan Weathers on the back. And let's see what we got here. Our plum frame parallel is going to be a player from the Angels, it appears to be. And it's none other than Mike Trout. That is sweet. Man, I really wish these uh these framed cards were numbered. Oh, but look at that. Before I can even get it into the sleeve. Can you see that? Look at that damage. Just totally ripped up right here. Hard to see. I'm trying to get it on camera so we can see it, but... What a damn shame. Oh, nothing that I could have done about that. As soon as I started to get it into the sleeve, I could feel it. Damn shame. Oh, I hate that. I hate getting good cards and having them get ruined. Right off the bat. All right, let's keep on trucking. Got a couple more. Seems like the last pack that I thought was going to have something in it is going to probably have a spacer. So we can expect more of those. We got another one in here, it looks like. Let's just move these forward. Legacy Lithographs, Lou Gehrig, Alec Baum, rookie, 
Debut Diamond King, Nate Pearson. Good rookie card. Miguel Cabrera. Braylon Marquez. Kohei Arihara. Alex Kirilov, rookie. Aaron Judge. And our nice fat card is blank. It's just a blank insert. No insert in this one, I can tell. So let's keep going. Evan White on the back here. Pete Alonso on the front. Christian Javier. Eddie Stanky. Awesome name. Our other gray frame parallel is hiding right underneath Cabrian Hayes. Let's see. Let's move these ahead. There's Ted Williams, the art of hitting. Dalton Jeffries, debut Diamond King. Evan White for Seattle. Cabrian Hayes. And we got a yellow. Looks like a debut Diamond King. Looks like it's upside down. I guess it's not. I guess I'm confused. It is upside down. All right. If you're not ready to throw up, you should be by now. It is Nate Pearson. Nice card. Nate Pearson can throw some heat. He was injured last season, so uh, if you're a Toronto fan, now might be the time to just go ahead and invest in Nate Pearson cards because because he was injured last year, his cards tend to be fairly fairly low priced, and I think uh, he has a lot of potential. Let's see, can we get that one in there? Hide him right there in the back. We got two packs to go. We've got our hits. We've got our framed parallels. So let's see what else we can find in here. Hopefully something else numbered. Freddie Freeman, Daniel Johnson, Trevor Story, Estevan Florial, Walter Johnson, Legacy Lithographs, Mike Piazza, Rafael Marchand, and a debut Diamond King for Luis Garcia. Last pack of our hobby box. It feels fat. It's definitely going to be fat, but I don't think we're going to have anything else inside of here. Nothing big, at least. Maybe we get like an artist print or something like that. Maybe I've passed a few of those. I haven't seen it. Artist proof, I think they call them in this set. Let's get these out from behind there. And sure enough, it is just a nice fat blank insert. But look at that. Ozzy Smith Legacy Lithographs. Love that. Love the wizard. Brent Rooker. Zach McKinstry, that one I'm happy about as a Dodger fan. I, I like always pulling Dodger cards. Satchel Page, haven't seen a lot in this uh, this box either. Satchel Page, Will Crow, Shane Bieber, Shane, don't call me Biebs Bieber, Monte Harrison, Hank Greenberg, Leody Tavares, and another big fat blank insert. So. There it is. That's Diamond Kings for you. That's about what you can expect whenever you, you have a box of Diamond Kings. You can expect a relic, an auto, which often, honestly, I've pulled several auto relics. So it's not like those are super duper rare. But we did get our two gray frame parallels. One of them is Ty Cobb. The other one is Nate Pearson. Our plum parallel Mike Trout came down completely damaged damage and all let's see can i get it to focus right there focus right here hard to see inside of the sleeve but bummer just totally bent up and the paper is just lifted up on the bottom of that mike trout and that sucks but i like this card a lot another numbered card we had our numbered daz cameron and we got this numbered legacy lithographs Joe Wood, number four of 99. That's a nice card too. So there we go. That's our break. That was fun. I got it out of my system. So uh, now I just got to wait and, you know, in a couple days, I'm going to get starting itchy again and uh, we're going to open up some more stuff. So to celebrate the cards that we pulled out, especially this Daz Cameron, I think that kid's got a lot of potential, especially that one. Let's uh, go ahead and smoke to celebrate. So if you're smoking, now's the time. Take it out and light it up. 
Took a little longer than expected, but I got my lighter, so here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody.